honestly, uh, I love the art of hip hop. Mm -hmm. I don't always love the message of hip hop. Sure. You know, there are times where, uh, even on the ones that I, even with the artists I named, the artists I love, you know, there's a message that is not only uh, sometimes degrading to women, not only uses the N-word a little too frequently, mm -hmm. but also something I'm really concerned about is always talking about material things. Especially, I guess, on a mainstream level where you have you know music that sort of sounded the same for the better part of at least 10 years, and I don't know, it's a little stagnant, you know? I guess I would just try and tell people to, to sort of, uh, you know, do your own thing. Now, in this climate that we're in, the audience is becoming more demanding of the artist itself, you know? So, if that happens, it's not something that I, you know, put out there in the universe in an interview and be like, oh, this has to happen and expect it to happen. I think the people themselves are calling for that, are calling for artists to be um, more involved in the message they, they put out, not, not just to put out a record and then not have anything to go along with it, you know? I mean, hip-hop is hip-hop, you know. I mean, they they support it there, but radio doesn't really support it. Radio is like, radio is garbage for hip-hop. Today's MCs couldn't last with, well, I'm going to say it like this. Today's MCs in the forefront of music really couldn't last with the older MCs. Now, you have underground MCs who, if they were in the spotlight right now, we probably would already know, okay, these dudes are great. Excuse me, I really don't agree with a lot of the way in which hip-hop is being portrayed on television, or just in mass media all, all together. There's kind of this uh, mode of hip-hop and this kind of like personality and attitude that you're supposed to uphold. And I think I played into that a little much when it was, a little too much when it wasn't like me. We always felt like we shouldn't kiss no ass to be accepted. If me is not enough for the world, then I'm in trouble because that's all I can give. You know what I mean? And we truly believe that if you make quality music, people will go buy it, and we proved our point. How do we get from the golden age of hip hop to, to what we have now dominating the culture, which I would say is definitely taking the substance out of, like you said, the lyrics. Yeah. How, how do we get from, you know, the days when you were coming out and rocking with, you know, you could hear you, you could hear PE, you could hear Daylight, you could hear a, a lot of different subject matter on the radio, LL Cool J, so now it just seems like you turn on the radio, you turn on TV, and it's, it's just violence. Everything is violence. How, how do we get there? So you know, if, if we can um, put a balance back in it, man, you know, the consumers gotta understand that you know it's their choice first, and they the ones that you know make or break what we do. So you know, support what you believe in, and hopefully, you know. Like I said, the majority rules if, you know, when Rock Kim come back through and, uh, you know, a few other rappers, you know, that got a little positive vibe or not even a positive vibe, just a real hip hop vibe that ain't talking no, you know, killer, you know, I'll sell you a kid coat. <laughs> but, um, you know what I mean? Hopefully, man, time just, you know, come in full circle again. You know, it, it can't be so much of that, man. You know what I mean? And, the little kids, even the kids, are kind of tired of the, you know, the BS, man. So hopefully, in the next couple years, we can get back into what we call hip hop. Everything is definitely not about the music as much as it was. You know, it's become a big corporate thing, and that's what's driving the industry, I guess, right now. Whereas the music got to be the source, the art got to, got to be the, the center of everything. Why well, I say the game is not about the music is because, like. The majority of artists that that I've heard on the on you know on the mass side, meaning on the popular side, I don't feel like that a lot of the music is is containing like that spirit of like man, I love music, I love, I want to create some hip hop, I want to be dope, I want you to leave and say that dude is an MC. I don't feel that in the music, you know. So I feel like a, I, I believe a lot of it is not coming from the heart, like you know, not coming from the imagination. It's more like, okay, I'm gonna get this money. Sometimes the media shows just one aspect mm -hmm. of it, even on the positive side. Sometimes the real hip hop is only concerned with the real hip hop, mm -hmm. per se. So you need you, you get like this kind of exclusive, purist attitude towards mm -hmm. things. And there's never like a, there needs to be just more of a, um, uh, more of a, a bridge, a, a open attitude toward mm -hmm. all different types of styles of the genre, not just being specific to one style, you know. Mm -hmm. I think people want to hear that, you know.
The sad thing is that rap music peaked a long time ago. It's just true. We had a beautiful art form. You know, we haven't pushed it forward. If artists, you know, don't start becoming more creative and more demanding themselves as artists, you know, the sales are going to keep going down. A lot of executives who really are formula driven. And some executives don't know that the only formula is truth. The only good one is inspiration that's honest. And I do believe some executives think that, that dirt sells. We got to be the ones to save it, basically. We got to save hip hop. We got to save it, man. Today, we've come to take our beloved hip hop to task, to find the beauty still left in it, to caress its scars and bruises, and most importantly, to hold it accountable for all its sins.